his first time outside the truck since he's been on here for about two weeks now is last night of course it was 33 degrees I think in Decatur Illinois and now we're down here in Middlesburg Kentucky Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Terrestre Trucker here. I am here in Decatur, Illinois, here at Lineage Logistics. Um, it's Care of Atticus, or Atticus Care of Linear Logistics. Yes. This place here, they say it's by appointment only, but, you know, my appointment's for eight. Of course, as you can see, I am the only truck here. Um, they've got... Looks like about 12 docks. Place is actually pretty nice. Um, there's only, I think, three people here. Um, a manager, there was a guy there in that car, and then another guy came out to actually put a glad hand lock on my, um, my freaking trailer, because they do make you slide your tandems when you back in. Do you make you disconnect your airline, put a freaking glad hand lock on it. But the good thing about this place is, they will let you sleep right here. So, I'll be back, my dispatcher's calling. So now you're here again, knocking at my door. A little too late for, I'm sorry for. The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord. And I started to fade into your grave. See, I finally opened up my eyes.
What's up everybody? This morning I started my day in Decatur, Illinois. Unloaded, I actually parked at the customer last night, call and check. They said I could park there overnight, so that's cool. Um, uh oh, my cat is freaked out when this car goes by. We've got Fox out here. Oh, he got low. He's hiding from the car. <laughs> We unloaded Decatur, Illinois um, at Lineage Logistics. Luckily, I reloaded literally like two miles down the road at Lyle and Tate, or Tate and Lyle, um, loaded sugar, 43,000 pounds of sugar, coming here to Smithfield. Um, like, I'm assuming like Smithfield bacon, things like that. So yeah, I'm here. Um, I called here because I saw it was in a residential area, even though I looked at Google reviews, you always want to call anyway, just say, hey, because some of the Google reviews are conflicting on the truck route because you're actually running through residential neighborhood. And they say, yeah, there's signs, follow the signs, otherwise you'll get hit up because you're making a boatload of turns. Yeah, to get here, there were like freaking six or eight turns. You had to turn through residential roads, turn here, turn here, turn here, turn here. They're zigzagging back and forth to get through here. So I called and asked the guy, you know, hey, I just want to check on directions to get here. I've got to, you know, I deliver tomorrow morning. And he actually told me that, yeah, there's a pilot like four miles down the road, or I can park right here at the plant. Park on the side of the road. I'm like, Phew. said there's a park on the left shoulder coming up to the garage shack. And then go ahead and check in. And then, you know, call you at seven in the morning. I'm like, sweet. So yeah, I'm here. I parked. So why park and start your day, you know, down the road which it probably took literally realistically like 10 minutes to get here because you're running through residential and making all these turns and you're kind of unsure and you're having to actually stop back and make wide turns to turn down these two lane residential streets here so yeah so why not stop you know go ahead and come here and park i mean i just stopped before i got here um stopped up in florence kentucky on 75 took me a shower got me something to eat some subway got me a fresh fresh shower all that out the way so now i'm here spending time with my boy me and fox are here he's getting him some good quality time as y'all can see they got the guard shack right there then you know I'll run right in there so yeah me and my boy we're sitting here we're getting us some good quality time he's he's enjoying some outside outside air time getting some grass in his tail <laughs> So, as you can see, he's getting low when the car's riding by, but he's enjoying this outside fresh air. I mean, why wouldn't he? I mean, you know. <laughs> like I said, I always call a customer. I always find out. A lot of drivers wouldn't want to park at a plate right like sit at a truck stop so they can go find somebody to talk to. I don't need anybody to talk to. I've got a freaking hard drive full of moves. If I want to talk to somebody, oh, he's looking up at me, wanting me to pet him. I'll talk to the wife. I'll call her. I don't need to, you know, go on walkabouts like all these drivers do. They always want to go on a walkabout, find somebody to talk to. I could care less. You got some grass on your tail, buddy. But yeah, so, you know, I'd rather park here. I mean, it's nice. It's peaceful. I mean, this whole shoulder right here, running all the way back to that street light right over there is actually where we can park at. Um, there's a yellow cone or orange cone on the other side of our bumper which is where we stop at. So yeah, so I'm parked here at the plant. So yeah, I, I, I'm still at the mindset I'd rather park at a customer if I can, stop and use my bathroom, get all that mess out the way, get my shower and I come here, I'm good to go. Tomorrow morning all I gotta do is walk up to that guard shack, check in at seven o'clock, bam. Drive right over there, freaking back up to the docks, unload, and I'm out of here. Then I'll go to the truck stop and get me a refill, use the bathroom. Which, of course, you know, every truck driver's got a jug on the truck so you can pee in the middle of the night. Don't act like you don't. Because I know drivers do. Some of you people who aren't truck drivers, I'm sure you're thinking, oh, that's disgusting. No, because a lot of these places, like where I was at this morning, having to unload 
they do not have bathroom facilities. Now they let you park there every night, but it doesn't matter. Even if I came from a truck stop, you know, which the closest truck stop was about um, 20 miles away. If you have to use the bathroom because of COVID, nobody's or the majority of people are not allowing you in their facilities to use the bathroom. Some of them won't even like this morning, you know, they opened up the window just a little bit enough for me to slide the paperwork through. Uh-oh. Yeah, we might want to move. There's a bird that just flew up in the tree right here. And I actually see his nest right over here. So yeah, that bird may actually have eggs inside that nest. Let's see. Right there is actually a bird's nest. Come on, fox. 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 Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's get away from the bird's nest. Come on, let's get away from the bird's nest. Come on. Fox, come on. Over here. Come on over here, buddy. Fox. <laughs> Him's not one to be cooperative. Come on, buddy. Fox. Fox. There's a truck right there, so that's scaring them. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Hey, you ready to go back to the truck? Huh, you ready to go back to the truck? Come here. But anyway, a lot of the facilities aren't allowing truck drivers in to use the bathrooms. So, you know, so don't act surprised if a truck driver has to have some kind of jug to pee in because if some of these shippers, you'll sit there for two and three hours. Um, the one the other day, I sat for three and a half hours. Yeah, actually, the day before yesterday. Or was it yesterday? It was actually yesterday. Yeah, I loaded yesterday in Iowa coming to the one I delivered in Decatur, Iowa, or Decatur, Illinois this morning. But that took three and a half hours to load. There were no bathrooms. We weren't allowed to use the bathroom there. So if you got to use the bathroom, guess what? You better have you a jug or something to pee in. I know that's the dirty secret that people don't want to hear, but I'm sorry, that's the truth anyway. Anyway, y'all heard me ramble. I just wanted to shoot some little footage of my little boy out here. I wanted to give him some little outside time. He's loving it. He enjoys outside, he enjoys his fresh air. Anyway, y'all, y'all have y'all self a good peace, peaceful night and we will holler at y'all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.